Let's get going. Okay, so I'm Corey Abraham. If you don't know me, um, you should hopefully know me by now, but if you don't, um, that's who I am. Arete is my team, our team, and I want to talk to you a little bit today about a few things. But first and foremost, I am going to share my screen with you guys so you can see. If you're just joining us, please mute your line. Please mute. On the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see a microphone and you can mute. Okay, much better. So um, I'm going to sh share my screen with you guys and show you on Facebook how to create lists and how to simplify your life and keep it efficient when you're working. When you're doing a power hour, there's absolutely zero time for you to be scrolling through your news feed. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It takes a little bit of time on the front end, but you're going to be so, so happy you did on the back end. Now, every single time, I, I call these buckets, every single time you invite somebody to be your friend, send a friend request, accept a friend request, you immediately at that point put that person into a bucket. So they're either a prospective customer, or they're a family, they are, um, maybe they're both a prospective customer and family, they are a um, prospective coach, they are current challengers, whatever. You need to create a bucket for all those people, and they change. So you can go in and change them. If somebody is a prospective customer and they become a current challenger, then you're probably going to want to switch buckets with that person. I mean, and change them and put them in the current challenger list and move them out of the prospective customer list. Or if they become a coach, same thing. I actually have a, also have a bucket for our team. So on Sunday nights or whenever, I can just go through and support everybody all at once. I just click on that bucket and that's all I see, or your, you guys, your feeds. But when, you know how it's overwhelming on Sunday nights, all you see is like 21 day fix, blah, blah, you know, blah, blah, blah. So that's, that's a lot, right? So what I do is I just click on like prospective customers and go through those and get out of the, the, uh, the beach body bucket. So that way I'm not seeing all that stuff and it's not, um, distracting me from my work because you need if you don't want to spend all of your life on your computer on Facebook you've got to get efficient at these systems so this is going to be super important if you're just joining us like I said please mute your line bottom left hand corner you'll see a mute button okay so I'm going to share my screen in just a second okay, here we go okay let's see I'm going to go to Facebook Okay, can you guys see my screen? Just, yes, okay. So this is, wait, nod your head if you can see my screen. I can't see the chat with that while I'm sharing. Yes, okay, perfect. So this is Facebook, as you guys know. Um, what I want you to do is look on the far left-hand side. You see all these groups over here on the far left? What I want you to do is scroll down. Did I just close that out? Shoot. I don't know what I just did. Hold on. Okay, you're still there. Ooh, just making sure. Okay, so what I want you to do is scroll down here, and on the far left hand side, you'll see like pages. Those are the pages for which I'm an admin. Then you'll see groups. Then you'll see friends. I want you to click on where it says friends, just click on it. Then you're going to get see this screen here, and you're going to see some of my buckets. And so these are all these friends, buckets, whatever. These are lists. So what you want to do, you can see I have a prospective customer list. I have a team list, a current challenger list. What I'm going to do is just click on um, like current challengers, for instance, just that. Now all I see in my feed are people from my current challenge groups that are going on. So I can go through easily and comment on whatever their posts are within the group, or I can comment on a post that they're making on their personal page. Um, so I can just quickly go through and support them, comment, like, that kind of thing, maintain that relationship. Then I will come back to my friends list over here on the far left hand side, and I will click on prospective customers. And this is what I do to my power hour. Prospective customers, click on that little button, and it's very slow, but eventually <laughs> my connection's 
really not so great right now for some reason. But anyway, I'm going to go through, and all these people who are my prospective customers, I'm going to see what they've posted. And I can, that's a great way to keep in contact with all of them. I can comment and like and make sure that they still know that I exist, so that I'm still around, that I haven't gone away somewhere. And as you know, as you, I think you should know by now, um, with the Facebook algorithm, the more you comment and like on people's things, the more you're going to show up in their newsfeed. So it's really important that you do that. You continue to comment and like on any prospective customers or coaches on their, their post. So I put people in those buckets, as you can see here. And I have some others if I were to scroll down. But so how you create this is you just click create list right here. Create list. And so what I'm going to do is let's call it the Arete Advisory Board. I don't think I have a list for this, so I'm going to create one. Who would I like to include? You just start typing names. Um, normally they come right up, but my internet is jacked right now. <laughs> there it is. So Jackie. Then I can say Jody. Then I can say Jenny Lari. If I could type. But anyway, so on and so forth. You get the idea. Amy, Regan, so on and so forth. Then I would click Create. And now that will show up here on the left-hand side, and you'll see everything the people on that list has posted, everything that's posted from them today. Got it? Okay, so that's how you create your list. It's super, super easy, right? So the way you, if you already have all these lists created, but you get someone new in your, um, as a friend, what you're going to do in that instance is you're going to go to, let's say, let's go to, if it would click here, um, let's go to my friends. We're going to go to like a recent, let's see, recently added. And what I'm going to do is click on these people, like I've already done, done this with her, but so what I would do here is click on her name. Diane. So with the Diane Riddle, I am going to, I'm friends, right? You can see that we're friends. I'm going to scroll over this and I can, or hover over it rather, and I can see add to another list. So what I'm going to do is click add to another list and then all my lists are going to show up right here. And I will scroll down and I'm going to say, I'm going to put her on, where's the, the bar? Ugh, scroll bar. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down to see where it says, I've already put her in this bucket because I've already done this, because I do it immediately whenever I get a new friend. But you can put her in that bucket, and she becomes a prospective customer, and then it makes communicating with her super simple. And so you just go through, whenever you get a new friend, you, you hover over this button, and you can do it on your phone just as easily, and you will just go to um, you know, add to list, and then scroll down to whatever list you want that person on. Got it? Okay. Now, the other thing I want to show you is if you were to go to your personal post, some of you have been concerned about um, who, feed, who sees your news feed. So the way you can get around that, if you are afraid you don't want to post something publicly. So let's see, I posted this yesterday, and I have it public because I don't, I think that you really need to open up yourself as much as possible. People feel like they know you when they can see your post and when you're talking about things that are personal and um, relatable. And so I am just open, I'm an open book on social media about my family and all of those the crazy things that happen with my kiddos and all of that. Um, and people, I think, tend to feel like they know me because they, they, like most people on my friends list probably know my kids' names because I just, I talk about them a lot. And so um, I think it helps a lot to make as much possible as public. But if there's something sensitive, if your husband has a sensitive job, like in law enforcement or whatever, and I know some of you are in that situation, then what you would do is you would come right here. And if you hover over the button, the privacy button, public, and then you would just create. You can see more options. You could just do friends or family. Or if I just wanted my advisory board to see it, or if I just wanted the prospective customers to see it, whatever, then I would just set it for just those people. If you just if you have pictures of your kiddos and you want to just have just your family see it, then you would create a family bucket and just see. I don't know if I have a family bucket, but that's what you would do there. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, hopefully. Okay. Okay, so that's the first thing I want to 
wanted to share with you guys. Do you have any questions about that? Anyone, you good? Does that make sense to everyone? Oh yeah, I do have a lot of friend requests <laughs> because I need to check them out before I accept. Okay, I do a little, I do a little background um, stalk of their page before I accept any crazies. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys do that too. If not, that's probably why I make things. Well, I'm things public anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. But anyway, so certainly do that. That will really simplify your life in terms of what you share, and also just in terms of. Um, making your power hour efficient and not seeing 10 million posts from your beach body coach friends even though we're family and we love each other like we need to work and we need to we need to create these new relationships with these people who are in our market so make sure that you create your buckets and get more efficient with that process i promise you it takes a minute in the beginning especially if you have like thousands of friends already and you have to go and get take every single one and put them in a separate bucket but on the back end it really makes your life so much easier Okay, so there's that. And then um, the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, well, a couple other things, is, because you guys mute your line. Somebody has got a lot of noise. Bottom left-hand corner, somebody's dog is going nuts. Okay, make sure also you export your friends list to, um, to Excel if you haven't done that. Another thing you can do, gosh, somebody's dog is seriously going crazy. Please meet your lines, guys. Um, another thing you can do is export everything to Excel. So you should have already done that. If you haven't, you need to. Because you can just work from a list, and every top coach works from a list. And you don't just get on Facebook and go, hmm, close your know, blindfold and point to somebody and go, that's who I'm going to invite today. Um, that is not efficient at all, and it's, it's just a, it's a crapshoot. So what you need to do is work from a list, be very systematic about it. Don't assume anybody is not going to want to join you because every single person you know, I promise you, every single person you know, guys, please meet your list. Every single person you know has a goal of some kind. They might want to bulk up, they might want to gain muscle, they might want to lose five pounds, they might want to lose 100 pounds, you know, whatever it is. Everybody has something. So don't feel like, oh, she'll never want to do it or she's... She didn't like me in high school, or she's a gym rat. I mean, people grow up, they really do. You'd be surprised. The people who come to you are like the ones who you never in a million years thought they would. So just be nice, invite, and if they say no, they say no. It's not about you, you know, you've gotta let that go. As long as your intentions are good and you come from a place of wanting to really help someone, they're not gonna take that negatively. So just, you know, do it, get over it. The more you do it, the easier it gets, I guarantee you. So what you need to do is just go down your list. I have a hot list every week of, you know, however many people I've decided to invite. If I'm going to do three a day, which is if you're, if you're doing power threes, 21 people, I know who, exactly who I'm going to invite, and I'll put all those people in a bucket so I can just quickly go through and like their stuff and comment and all that so it's not totally random or weird. Or I'll do it usually the week before. Like, I know who I'm going to invite next week, and so those people go in a bucket so I can already start liking and commenting, and then it's not out of the blue when I invite them, if that makes sense. So I'm kind of building that relationship before I just, I'm like, hey, so-and-so, you know, I see that your kids are whatever, and then invite them to my challenge group. Um, so make sure that you are doing that. If they say no, you still keep them on that prospective customer list, and you still build that relationship. You don't want them to forget about you. That's when you plant the seed, and so they're like, oh, she, okay, she's doing that program called 21 Day Fix. Maybe I'll watch and see how that goes and see if she is doing well with that or if she was losing weight with that or if she's consistent with that, if she's going to be the person, the person to take me through this program. Because you know what? I know five beach body coaches and I want the one who's committed. I want the one who's going to help me all the way through this and be there for me and still be my friend even if I say no right now. You know, keep up that relationship. It's super important. So make sure that you, um, you do that. Yeah, I definitely do. I do. I use my buckets for everything. So I have a hot list bucket, and then I, a week, I'm a week ahead, or even two weeks ahead is a good idea to stay in contact with those people and, and like and comment and all of that. And they start seeing your post before you invite them. So it's not out of the blue. Because if you're liking and commenting on their stuff, they're going to see your, your post. That's the way Facebook works. So make sure you're doing that. That's the other thing I wanted to talk about. Um, as far as just organization and efficiency, you should always have like 10 names that you know you're going to invite this week or 15 or 20. If you really want to, if you want to hit success of 10, up that number, right? 
Okay, but just go down the list and then I take notes in my spreadsheet of what they said, you know, if they responded at all, if they didn't respond, even if they didn't respond at all, I still act like nothing is happening, like nothing's wrong. I still comment on their stuff, like their stuff. I don't want them to think that something's awkward. I don't want to act awkward because then, then they act awkward and then they feel like they can't talk to you, you know, about whatever it is. But if you're just normal with them and, and you don't act like, oh my gosh, you didn't buy anything from me, then it's, that's just salty anyway, right? And that's not what we're about. So make sure you continue that relationship and keep it up. Okay, next thing I wanted to talk about is um, something we talked about at leadership quite a bit, and that is to outwork your fears. Um, so many of us are scared. Like, what are we scared of? That somebody's going to say no? Like, what's, what's the worst possible thing that can happen in this business? What are we afraid of? Right? Somebody's going to say no. I mean, is there anything worse than that that can happen? Probably not. Not too much. So what, somebody's going to make fun of us for what, for losing weight, for being healthy, for being positive? You know, I don't know. Um, I, I just, I don't know what the, whatever that is in your mind, um, if it's, if invites, sorry, I dropped something. Um, if invites are your fear, then you outwork those dang invites, okay? Yeah, I will. I, I think it's in the files, um, Paula, already of the group page, the team page. I think I shared it before, but I will again if I haven't. So, um. You outwork your fears. If you're scared of invites, then you just keep inviting. You be systematic about it, and eventually, you know, it's not going to matter. And the more you do it, the less it's going to be fearful for you to do or follow ups or getting people on the phone or whatever it is. So if you're not going to hurt anybody's feelings if you come from a place of love. If you come from a place of this is just going to be fun. You're already in great shape. So I thought you might. I thought I wanted to create this group of people who are all in awesome shape and really pushing each other to the next level. You know, there's no need to hurt anybody's weight and feelings. I never say, do you want to lose weight? Unless they post something like, I want to lose weight. <laughs> then I'm like, okay, I saw that you wanted to lose weight. But otherwise, I never, ever, ever would say, like, in case you want to lose weight. Um, and I just, I don't approach it that way. Um, so it really isn't the wording. And if you're not getting a great response, then I encourage you to share your wording on your team page, on our team page, and the new coach training team page if you're there with your upline diamond. Share it with them, and it, usually just a word here or there, a minor tweak can change the entire circumstance of the, the conversation, the flow of the conversation, so, um, and their response. So work with, if you're afraid about offending somebody, then just talk with your upline diamond, talk with me, and we'll go through the conversation with you and just tweak here and there. But um, anyway, we, I wanted to show you this little video that I love. Um, Misty Copeland, I don't know if you guys know her, she is an African-American ballerina, and she was told she started dancing much, much older than most people do, and I think she was like a teenager when she started, and she was told she'd never, ever make it. She was told that she started way too late, her legs were too big, her chest was too big, um, she was too tall, like this whole litany of things, it goes on and on, but I want you guys to see this video. And Jordan Spieth, you guys know who he is, right? The golfer. He's like the youngest ever from University of Texas. He's won all these. Um, oh, shoot. He's won all of these um, major championships. They can't hear me. Okay, hold on. Let me find it. We can only hear that person. I don't know who that is. Okay, can you guys see my screen again? No. No, okay. Wait, why did you, but she can't hear you. Just a second, sorry for the technical difficulty. Okay, here it is. I want you to see this quick little thing. Okay.
Okay, I totally love that video. And I think that um, you get the idea, right? Like, I get it, it just gives me chills, but you can see that they, it's not that they got lucky, it's not that they had this immense talent, it's that they outworked their fears. Like, she worked harder than anybody else to get the principal, to become the principal ballet dancer. She, Jordan Speed, you know, he's out there way before everybody else hitting balls, he's out there way after everybody else. Um, I heard the story about Larry Bird, a woman who worked for the Washington Bullets at the time, now they're the Wizards, but the um, they were the Bullets, and she went, the Bullets were terrible, if you know anything about the NBA or basketball, terrible, 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 um, at this particular time in the 80s, and they, um, they were playing in, at the Boston Garden in Boston, and that was when Larry Bird was there and some of the, the famous, you know, when they won all the championships in the famous Celtics. And she was there like three hours before the game, sitting on the floor, on the floor in the Boston Garden. She worked for the Bullets in the upper management. She was sitting there literally hours before the game and somebody was out there, nobody else in the entire arena but her sitting at the table and out there on the floor is Larry Bird, just shooting and shooting and shooting. She just looks up and there he is, you know, all over the floor, shooting, shooting. And they always talk about his sweet spot. There's a spot on the floor, apparently on the parquet floor, where he just never ever misses from. And it's not a sweet spot, it's not a lucky spot. It's, it's because he shot so many shots from that spot prior to three hours before anybody else even arrived in the arena. And he was there, you know, oh, it's not luck. He was doing it over and over and over again from all over the floor. And then he did that for probably, you know, two and a half hours. And then right before game time, Robert Parrish comes walking through the doors in his street clothes. Like he had just arrived at the arena when everybody else was already there and suited up and everything and gone through drills. He just got there. And Larry Bird walked over to him, grabs him by the shirt and says, are you kidding me? Like, I know this is just the Washington Bullets, but, you know, he, he said some cuss words, but <laughs> I'm not going to say. But he was like, basically, get your, get your rear end here on the floor, practice. I don't care who we're playing. You show up. You show up every single day. You practice like you're playing a game, like you're, you're winning a championship every single day. And I think about that a lot and just um, how we have to show up and we have to work harder than our fears. I mean, the reason we succeed is because we do it over and over and over again and we, it, until you're no longer scared of it because you, you've practiced it so many times, there's no way you're going to miss it. Same thing with Katy Perry. Before the Super Bowl performance, somebody asked her if she was nervous but up there performing on the stage and she said, gosh, no, I'm, I'm not nervous. I could have done it blindfolded. I practiced so many times that it was committed to my memory. There's no possible way I, I would have messed up. And so I think that that's the, that's the approach that we want to take as well. So you just have to outwork your fears. Anyway, that spoke to me and I wanted to share that with you. Um, and then a couple other little things. Um, the way to be successful in this business, guys, is to hit Success Club. I know we talk about that all the time, and we hammer it over your heads, and you're probably so sick and tired of hearing it, but the way to be successful is to hit Success Club, to recruit coaches, and have your coaches hit Success Club. It's that simple. It's not creating these amazing pictures. It's not created, creating these edited videos that are so awesome that everybody you know, is, is envious of. It's not creating this incredible website or blog or you know whatever. It's not any of those things. It's hitting success club. It's, it's simple. It's so, so simple. It's not easy, but it's simple, right? It's hitting success club, recruiting coaches, and teaching your coaches to hit success club. Like that is really it. You show up, you're consistent, and you do those things. And that, but really that's all it takes in this business. I was able to talk to a lot of the leaders this weekend, and you get so overwhelmed as, as a leader of a large team, and there are all these things that you think you have to do, these elaborate systems and groups and websites and just all of these things, and the list is long, I promise, and uh, you feel like you are lacking in so many areas and that you, you don't live up. And the truth of the matter is, in this business, like it, it's got to be duplicatable. Like I don't create videos. I could pay somebody to edit these amazing videos for me. I don't do that. And the reason I don't do that is because that's not duplicatable. Like what new coach is going to see that and think, oh, I can do that too. You know, they're not going to. 
So don't get caught up in that stuff. Like really, like just do Hit Success Club every single month. Recruit some coaches every single month. It doesn't have to be a lot. It can be two coaches a month, whatever it is. And then teach them the success club. Teach them to do the same. And that really is all this business boils down to. It's just don't make it complex, you know. You you connect with people's hearts, and that's why it's it's attraction marketing. You connect with them into their hearts, a people business. You know, don't get caught up in all the all the smoke and mirrors and all the other stuff. Like it's a, it's a people business. So really try to focus on those, making those connections, sharing yourself, sharing your journey, and just keeping it real with people. And that's how you're going to be successful. Like that's how you do it, period, the end. It's not any of that other stuff that we can so easily get consumed with and that consumes our time. Because we don't have a lot of time. I mean, most of us enter this business not to work all day, every day, right? We did it to have some freedom. I know I did. I, I left my law job because I didn't want to work 100 hours a week or 120 hours a week or whatever. I left it for that very reason. And I don't want to do that. I'm not going to be the person who's working those hours anymore. I'm going to try to always be working, you know, 10 to 10 to, or rather 15 to 20 hours a week at this point. And, um, and the way you do that is just to keep it simple. Like, don't try to, to overdo. And it, it, even if you just have one coach, like that's what I want you to teach that coach. You teach that coach the power of threes. You teach them to hit success club every single month and how to recruit. And that's, that's it. Literally, that is it. That's all they need, power of threes. And if they're consistent with that in their workouts, then they're going to be successful, just like you will be successful. It really is that simple. Um, and so the last thing I want you to do is I want you to take out your phone and I want you to create a reminder that is going to, an alarm on your phone. If you have an iPhone, an alarm that's going to ding every single day at the same time, whatever time that is, 9 o'clock in the morning, 6 a.m., whatever time it is. And I just want it, it can be personalized, whatever you want it to say. Mine says be more confident. It can say be a, you're a rock star. It can say... You're awesome. You can say be more confident. Um, that's something that I think sometimes I struggle with, and I want, um, I need that reminder every single day. Like, I am enough. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I am good enough. I'm worthy. I'm a rock star. I'm a superstar. Whatever you wanted to say, but be more confident. I have that on my phone every single day at 6 a.m. Like, I just finished my workout. Maybe you want to do it before your workout. You know, that would be it. 15 for me and that's a little early for an alarm on my phone to be going off like that so um whatever time but I want you to do that tonight I want you to absolutely do that before you go to bed like whatever it is that you need I want you to put a reminder and I want it to say to you every single day whatever that is like I literally set it up for to repeat ad not like infinite infinity so it's forever um and I want you to do that too so do that before you go to bed tonight. Set that alarm on your phone to remind you that you're awesome, that you need to be more confident, whatever it is, because people are attracted to that. If you're not confident in what you're doing when you're talking with someone, they're probably not going to purchase anything from you. They're probably not going to sign up to, to be one of your customers or one of your coaches. Like Even if you don't have any coaches yet, dang it, be confident in your vision. You know What do you want out of this? Like, Are you... Do you know where you're going? Like to figure that out. Like what is your why? What is your big why? You connect with that. You want to stay home with your babies. You'd like to quit your job. You'd like to bring your husband home from his job. You'd like to travel. Whatever that is, you connect with that and you decide how you're going to get there, what that's going to look like, what that freedom looks like to you, paying off your debt, helping you know, a thousand people, getting a team of a thousand people, whatever it is. I want you to figure out that why. And then you approach it with confidence. Like you will get there. You have to have a vision. You have to believe in these products. You have to believe in what we do. Otherwise, people are not going to buy in. If you're not confident when you're talking to somebody, if you're like, well, I'm not sure about Shakeology. I'm not sure if you need to have that. Like, are they going to buy it? Of course not. I believe very strongly in it. And I talk to people like I believe very strongly in it and because I do. And I think it's necessary. I think it's a necessary part of the equation. But if you're wishy-washy about that, if you're not confident when you're talking with someone, if you're not confident that a challenge pack is a heck of a deal, because it is, because you're getting all the whole meal plan, you're getting all these workouts, you're getting a schedule you follow, so there's no guesswork. You're getting 
you know, an online access to $1,400 or however much 14 complete programs, what's more than that, what $5,000 or $3,000 or something. Um, the whole, all the access to those programs, plus their meal plans, plus an accountability group, hello, plus a personal coach who's gonna be there for you every single day, every step of the way, until the end of time, if that's what you want. You know, I mean, you have a 30 day money back guarantee. You have the best thing you can possibly put in your body every single day for 30 days. I mean, it's it's a deal. If you if in the personal trainer world, I told some of you this, but it was I, I cost $100 an hour when I was personal training. People didn't flinch at that. It was for 50 minutes of personal training, 100 bucks an hour, 100 bucks for 50 minutes. That's a lot of money, right? They didn't flinch, like because they thought it was worth it. I suppose you know, and it's. If you act like it's worth it, they're going to see the value in it. If you act like it's not worth it or apologize for it, they're not going to see the value in it. So don't ever apologize for it. It's a deal. It's a heck of a deal. I mean, ask Jackie, right? Was losing 105 pounds worth the $140 you spent on your challenge pack, Jackie? I think it probably was, right? So, I mean, that's the thing you have to consider. Um, don't ever. Just don't apologize for that. Sorry, I have to see all these more friend requests, Jackie. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's really what I wanted to touch on today, just those things. Just be confident, you know, make sure that you remind yourself to do that every day. I know it's hard when you hear no's, but you're gonna hear no's. That's just part of the game. Like, don't let that discourage you. If you approach somebody with the, the right intent and the right heart, then you're not gonna be received negatively. So just don't take it that way. It's not ever about you. Okay, so we have a couple more minutes. If you have any questions, oh gosh, I didn't even look at the chat. I'm like 55 messages. Okay, any questions for anybody while you have me here? Anybody? I don't know if there are any questions in the chat, but if there are, um, copy and paste at the bottom. I missed something about buckets. Oh, at the beginning where I was telling you how to create the buckets? You're not talking about friends list, you're talking about buckets? I call them the same, same thing, same thing. Okay. I use them interchangeably. Friends list, buckets, and it's not a group. So make sure you're not creating groups and putting people in groups because they can see that. <laughs> if you have a group called prospective customers, they know your perspective, that they're prospective customers. So make sure you don't have a group. The friends lists, they can't see. So make sure, I mean, if you create a friends list that says prospective customers the way I've showed you at the beginning of this call, they're not going to see that they're in a list in a bucket called friends list. I mean, called rather called prospective customers. Um, so don't worry about that. Did you say how to, um, the instructions on how to export your friends list to Excel is in our Arete files. Stephanie Kittleson did it for us. And it did I, not work for me. It didn't work for, do you have a Mac? Is that what it is? Uh-huh. Yeah, so I don't know how to do it for a Mac. Stephanie might. You might approach her because she does that. Like, that's that's her job, her day-to-day -day job. So check with her. It works for me. I don't know. Maybe just talk with Stephanie because she's more, like, into the technical side of all of that. I'm not. I have a husband. I outsource that stuff, too. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas. I just need a new download. You need what? A new download. I have an old export and I need it updated. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? I Mac. It works for Alyssa. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I use Chrome too. Do you use Chrome or Safari? I use Safari. Yeah, I only use Chrome, so I don't have problems. Same with Postgres. Like it, it just seems to, everything works better on Chrome for me. So that's what I use. Okay. Any questions about? Not just what we did on the call, but anything that's like you're struggling with, or the, the Zoom calls are really to be interactive for you to give us, to tell us what you're struggling with so we can help you out or what's going well if you want to share that. We just have a couple more minutes before we're cut off. Anybody? All right. Well, if no questions, can you share the link for the video? Yep, I'll share it on my team page. Sure will. I love that video. Uh, you didn't have volume? 
Yeah, it's not the same without volume. <laughs> I'll share it. Sorry about that. I'll share it afterwards on the team page. You guys have to watch it because it's a really great video. Well, boo. Yeah, it's definitely not as good without the sound. All right, so sorry. Well, you ladies, and I guess we just have ladies on the call tonight. You ladies have a wonderful evening, and I will see you guys online. Good night.